Hi everyone. So today we're going to be doing a fraction art project. Now the materials for this are in the blue folder that I put on your desk in the classroom. So if you did not pick up the blue folder, you won't have these materials, but you can easily make them on your own. And I'll tell you how in a little bit. Um, so to get started, go ahead and find those materials. There's um, a purple paper, it looks like this, except without the picture. Uh, you will have some circles that are divided into different fractions. We'll have a summary sheet and then also some lined paper. Okay, so this project is based on a book. It's called Picture Pie by Ed Emberley. So I'm gonna go ahead and read just the first two pages. It kind of goes over what we'll be doing. So it says, this book shows how a circle divided like a pie can be used to make pictures of all kinds of things. Oh, and there's some great ideas down here at the bottom. You can see the flowers that were used with some of the shapes. Um, there's even a little birdie. And then the next page says, these four simple basic shapes can be put back together to make a set of other more complex shapes. So we're going to look at some examples, but first I wanna go over those four simple basic shapes. And you'll see them here on one of our picture pie uh, cutouts that I gave you. So over here, we have a full circle. We call this a hole. All right, now if we cut the hole into two equal pieces, we have halves, right? So just one of these would be one half, like this. Or in this picture, we have two halves. And then up here, we have um, a circle cut into four equal pieces. So those are called fourths. Right, so just one of those would be one fourth. Um, two of them would be two fourths. And then we have three fourths. And you know what, if I add one more, if we have four fourths, I'm gonna have a full circle again. Right, so four fourths equals one whole. And then the last shape we'll be looking at are the eighths, right? So we have a full circle again. It's cut up into eight equal parts. So we call those eighths. And again, if you count them, we've got one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths. So eight eighths is equal to one whole again. All right, so you're gonna be cutting those out. Um, you should have a lot of different colors. If there's a color you don't have, you can always take something um, round. I think just a regular cup is round at the bottom. And then you, you can use that to trace circles on whatever color you want and cut them out. Um, but you should have enough to make, make a lot of different pictures. So you're gonna go ahead and cut those out. If you wanna pause the video right now, you can. And then once you've cut them out, press play. And I will show you the next step. All right, so once you've cut those out, I'm gonna show you some examples of what you can do. Okay, so hopefully you uh, can see my screen right now. And um, right here you see there's a peacock, kind of like the one I did, and it made, I see one half, I see one fourth, and then a bunch of eighths. Here there's a sun, and that used a full circle with some eighths attached. There's also a bird and some flowers, and you can see on the, the lined paper, the student talked about how many of each uh, piece, piece they used. Okay. 
Here we have Pac-Man getting chased by a ghost. And then I see a pond with a bunch of animals. And what I'm noticing here is that uh, these students, they added details with markers, which is absolutely okay. Uh, this person even added some water in the background, which was a great detail. Here's an anglerfish and a chick. It's a really cute chick with two full circles. And then I see three eighths, right? one for the beak, one for the wing, and one for the tail. And then the student added in the legs. Here we have a butterfly, a poodle, a ladybug, some flowers. And I really like this one, it's a dog. It's another bird and another bird. Lots of different ways to make birds. Here's a bird with some flowers. And I see a dog again with little pieces of pizza at the bottom. And then the student even drew in a person. Oh, this is a really cool crab. And then just a fun flower design, right? This, the student really got creative and added a lot of details. Okay, so that's it for examples. Uh, you don't have to use any of those. Uh, you can really get creative in the picture pie book. There's hundreds of examples of things you can make. Um, there were a lot of birds, but you know, you can also easily make some trees. Ah, where are some trees. Um, and then I see a cat and a mouse. It's so think about what you want to make and you will create it up at the top of your page, the purple page that I gave you. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and take out your summary sheet. And on here, you're gonna write uh, how many of each piece you used. So, I created a peacock, so I wrote that in. And the first part, it says how many eighths. So, ah, I'm gonna count those. We have one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen eighths. So I wrote in thirteen on the top line. Okay, now we have our fourths. I only used one fourth right for the head. So I, I wrote, I used one fourth and I crossed off the S. So it was only one. Um, if I used two fourths, I would need that S. Uh, same with halves, I only used one half. And actually I have to change that to um, H-A-L-F. That's the singular form of have. So I used one half. Uh, if you use more than one half, you'll use halves. That's the plural. And then I didn't use any holes, I used zero. Now here's the trickier part. It says all together I used two and three eighths whole circles. You may be wondering how I got that number. Uh, and it, it took me a little time to figure this out, so I'll walk you through it. So I had to figure out how many whole circles I would have if I put all these shapes together. So I know I have one half, and the one fourth, and then these two eighths would all come together to make a full circle. So let me show you that again. One half with one fourth and then two eighths. Get those, they would fill up to make a full circle. So that's one full circle. So I've used the half, the fourth, and the two eighths. Okay, the rest of these are eighths. I know that eight eighths will make a full circle. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? That would make my second circle. So that's why I have two full circles. And then what's left over? One, two, three eighths. 
So all together, I have the two and three eighths. Uh, it might be helpful to use your leftover circles to figure this out, right? Just count out how many you have listed and then put them together to make your full circles. Um, or ask a parent to help you. Okay, so once you have filled all those in, you're gonna use this sheet to write your summary at the bottom. Um, you're basically just copying it, so it should be pretty simple from here. So I wrote, I have created a peacock. I used 13 eighths, I used one fourth, I used one half, and I used zero whole pieces. Altogether, I used two and three eighths whole circles. So basically, I wrote exactly what's on here, okay? So you're gonna glue that on the bottom, and when you're done, go ahead, take a picture for me, and you can upload it on Class Dojo um, under the Portfolios tab. And you're done. So I can't wait to see all the cool pictures that you make. Uh, I hope you have fun with this, and I hope you're all doing well. Having a great day. All right, bye everyone. I'll see you soon.